guys. Uh, today we will discuss uh, the development of the DNUM. Development of Dudinum. Uh, first, we will quick, quickly overview the development of Dudinum in diagram. Uh, previously, we discussed about the development of stomach. Before that, we uh, discussed about the primitive gut. For example, this is our GIT. GIT. This part is our fore gut. This part is our mid gut. This is our hen gut. The duodenum is derived from this, this fore gut and the mid gut board part. The terminal part of fore gut and the cephalic part of mid gut. These two parts uh, develop the duodenum. Basically, this duodenum cephalic mesen chyme and uh, if we know uh, it is the part of this both two then we, uh, the blood supply is will be also from these two part for example as we know uh, for gut is supplied by um, celiac artery and we know the mid gut is supplied by superior mesenteric artery so we can say that our celiac artery and the superior mesenteric artery both supplies to our duodenum after this we will discuss about the shaping or rotation of duodenum as we know our stomach rotates in 90 degree clockwise with this our uh, duodenum also uh, rotate and it start to change in c shape start to form in c shape once it will become a c shape like this or like this then after the developing in the c shape uh, its obliteration will occur obli Basically, obliteration is uh, something which is going to be disappear. Why it will become disappear? First of all, the epithelial uh, lumen will pro proliferate and it will hit the um, body wall. After the shape, uh, obliteration start to occur uh, in the obliteration epithelial uh, epithelial become proliferate which will uh, do the lumen to obliterate obliterate sorry in the after obliteration the process of uh, recanalization occur uh, the recanalization leads to this uh, well defined well defined canal form development of duodenum duodenum developed from the fore gut and the mid gut as well the cephalic portion of the mid gut and the terminal portion of the fore gut it forms uh, its junction both part lies below the origin of liver bird when the stomach rotates uh, in the 90 degree clockwise uh, it also create impact on the duodenum rotation and the duodenum start to rotate uh, and forming c shape due to this rotation and the formation of head of pancreas swings the duodenum from the midline to the right side of abdominal cavity. As we know, the duodenum is the part of both foregut and the midgut. Therefore, the blood supply of uh, the duodenum is by the celiac artery and the uh, superior mesenteric artery. 
basically as we know uh, the foregut is supplied by uh, celiac artery and the midgut is supplied by the superior mesenteric artery when the duodenum develop into the c shape uh, the epithelial uh, proliferate which causes the lumen uh, lumen of the duodenum to obliterate after the obliteration the recanalization uh, whole tube form uh, which later it convert into a as well defined canal now we will discuss about the clinical portion of the duodenum uh, in the clinical we will talk about the pyloric stenosis basically pyloric stenosis is a extreme narrowing of pyloric lumen which causes the obstruction in the food passage and it can cause the severe projectile uh, vomiting this uh, pyloric stenosis occur uh, because of pylorus hypertrophies of the circular and longitudinal muscle uh, basically it start this condition starts in the very first day uh, like third to fifth day of uh, birth it start appearing uh, also uh, some some doctors believe that it is also connected to postnatal uh, usage of erythromycin in the newborn period thanks guys for watching in our next video we will discuss about the development of pancreas